Hi folks, Max from RootNexus5.com. If you're looking for a good custom ROM uh, with some good customization, um, definitely check out Droid Kang ROM. This is what's hot right now uh, with Nexus 5, Nexus 5 custom ROMs. And I really like this ROM because it does give you a lot of customizations. Um, you probably noticed already off the bat, I've got my custom navigation bar, a custom battery. Um, it's slightly themed, uh, it's got its own theme, sort of. And uh, let me show you some of the cool stuff you can do. Um, a lock screen here, that's not too much. Uh, interface, if you go here, you can go ahead and enable quick pull down. So you can set this to the right or left. I find it super handy. Um, that way you don't have to use two fingers to access your notifications. You can just go ahead, anywhere on the right side you'll get notifications, left, oh sorry, right side you'll get quick tiles, left you'll get uh, notifications. And also you can easily customize, uh, add more tiles here uh, and change the order if you want. Um, so that is very nice. And also let me show you notification drawer, well let me go ahead and show you, um, you make everything dark with Dark Nexus 5 UI. Uh, this will make everything dark, uh, it's kind of nice. And also, let me show you uh, Droid Kang mods. This is kind of cool. I'm um, sort of like AOKP. You can change your uh, battery icons here, um, circle uh, with percentage, also animation speed you can change, um, network traffic meter, and also uh, if you want, you can go ahead and add a brightness control um, to the status bar. So you can go ahead and go to your status bar. Um, if you go left, it's going to get dark. If you go to the right, uh, it's going to get brighter. Also, lights and warnings here. Screen on notification light um, if you want. And also, screen and animations. Um, this ROM does come with CRT animations. And also, horizontal. Oh, it's not working, is it? Uh, sorry, I didn't set it all the way. Uh, orientation dependent. So, there we go. So, you can get it both ways. Um, sort of nice little feature there. Custom system animations, uh, I really love this. Let me just set it, add some, some random ones here and just show you. Um, you can make everything cool looking here. And you'll see transmission animation from the right to left. And if I hit the home button, um, it's gonna go away. Uh, very nice stuff. And also let me go ahead and show you uh, general settings here. If you want a recent RAM bar, um, you can enable it here and there we go it doesn't have one right now I'm gonna go ahead and choose applications and boom shakalaka uh, we got some nice uh, anime um, nice uh, recent RAM bar there and also you can change the clear button you can make it top right if you want um, so you can clear all of your apps there and let me go back here and uh, also show you some additional options. Navigation, this is my favorite part. Um, I always feel like three is too little. And here you can go ahead and add uh, as many buttons as you want here. Um, so that's how I added it, uh, my extra keys there. And also you can even set uh, long press. For example, if you want long press uh, to take a screenshot, you can do that. And now if I do a long press, and boom shakalaka. Very easy to implement a lot of uh, shortcuts there. Also you can set uh, ring targets if you want. Um, these are the ones you co come from the bottom so I only have search. Let me try adding a custom app here, browser, and you can get additional uh, I think five or six more. So that's additional uh, shortcuts down here and along with the bar. Um, so that is a very nice level of customization and I think, whoops, there's some more options here. Uh, pretty good stuff and also global menu. All right. And I think this is for the, uh, the power buttons. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, let me add a custom application, calculator, and ooh, that's nice. For the power button, now you can use the power button as shortcuts. So a ton of shortcuts, very, very useful. Um, and uh, basically you're getting CM11, Sinogen 11 plus all these nice little customizations. Um, so I really like it. The only thing with this one is that the camera it comes with does not have Photosphere. Um, but, uh, whoops. You can go ahead and try installing the 
Android 4.3 Photosphere camera uh, on top of it. Oops, smart capture. All right, so definitely pretty nice ROM. Um, check it out uh, and do let me know what you think. And Droid Kang, uh, one of my favorite ROMs. I've been trying a bunch of ROMs this week and I should have some more ROMs uh, coming soon. And yeah, do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Nexus 5, um, don't forget to get a, get a case because you will crack your screen without a case. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at the rootnexus5.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tip sacks and more. And that's it. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.